Welcome back 615. As Chris promised, it is a cold one this morning. Yeah, temperatures below freezing in parts of Albuquerque. It really depends on where you are. Let's take a closer look here. If you're in the valley, you're below freezing. The west side, right around that freezing mark at 33 degrees. In the northeast heights, you're at 34, waking up to temperatures at freezing in the foothills. Regardless of where you are in Albuquerque or across the state, feeling the chill in the air. Temperatures about 8 to 15 degrees cooler this morning compared to yesterday at this time. You're waking up to a temperature of 31 degrees in Santa Fe, only 21 in Grants. And in the upper 20s in Farmington, you have to look all the way down to Alamogordo, Roswell, and Carlsbad to find the 40s. It's 42 in Roswell and 45 right now in Hobbs. There is a little bit of wind on top of those already very cold temperatures. So when you factor in the wind from about 5 to 15 miles per hour, take a look at what that does to the temperatures. This is what it will actually feel like on your skin. It only feels like it's 12 degrees in Grants. It feels like it's 20 in Santa Fe, and it feels like it's 26 in Las Vegas. So sending the kids out to the bus stop or heading out to work this morning, they're going to have to dress in layers. The good news is we're going to see tons of sunshine out there, and that will warm things back up into the lower 60s, feeling a little bit more like the first week of November by the afternoon. So we continue with freeze warnings for all the areas shaded in light blue until 9 o'clock this morning. That includes Albuquerque, then in dark blue for parts of Torrance County and eastern Socorro County. We do have a hard freeze warning. That's for areas that have dipped into the 20s. That also runs until 9 o'clock this morning. Now satellite and radar much quieter this morning compared to yesterday, waking up to just Tons of clouds in the eastern portion of the state, especially in the southeast, central and western New Mexico, mainly clear skies. A slight chance for an isolated shower for folks around the Sacramento Mountains and also for places like Roswell and Carlsbad. But most of the shower activity has moved well off to your east and southeast into Texas. So we'll see quite a bit of sunshine in central and western New Mexico, but partly to mostly cloudy skies in the southeast. After a very chilly start, we'll see that sunshine temperatures climbing back to about average for today. Then we start to go above average on Thursday, mostly sunny skies all around the state for tomorrow. Then by Friday, some changes begin. Temperatures on the warm side, but the breezes will be kicking up, so you'll feel the warm temperatures along with some breezy conditions by Friday afternoon. That's ahead of a cold front that will move in to northeastern New Mexico, and that will drop our temperatures a little bit for the first half of the weekend. We're not talking about a drastic drop, just a slight cool down here as we head into your Saturday. First, though, today on your Wednesday in Cortez, Durango, and Pagosa Springs, temperatures into the middle to upper 50s with mostly sunny skies. We'll stay in the 50s for your Thursday. Then by Friday, high temperatures back into the lower 60s in Durango. Over to Farmington, you'll be in the upper 50s, 59 in Gallup and Grants. And then tonight, temperatures dipping back into the 20s, below freezing once again around the four corners for your Thursday morning. Over to the southwest, more sunshine for this afternoon. Highs into the lower 60s in Silver City. 63 in Tierra C, 64 in Socorro. We'll continue with the sunshine for your Thursday and temperatures staying in the middle 60s for Friday and Saturday. Over to the southeast, you're going to feel the biggest temperature swing here. Starting out with quite a bit of cloud cover out there. Slight chance that we could see some sunshine later on today. And the clouds will keep our temperatures locked in the 50s in Carlsbad, 61 in Roswell. Take a look at your high temperature though. In Roswell on Friday, you'll be at 70 degrees, and that cold front moves through that I mentioned earlier. That will drop your temperatures back into the lower 60s by the first half of the weekend. Over to the northeast, mostly sunny skies. Breezy at times with those winds out of the east at 10 to 15 miles per hour, so it'll make it feel a little bit cooler than it actually is. And then over to the northern mountains, mostly sunny skies. Upper 50s in Santa Fe, 65 in Española, and then over to the east mountains, mostly sunny skies. Temperatures into low to mid 60s in places like Tejeras, Edgewood, Moriarty, and Estancia, and then over to the metro. Temperatures topping out in the low to mid 60s under plenty of sunshine. Another cold start tomorrow with temperatures around freezing. And then we'll be in the middle 60s for Thursday and Friday. Take a look at it next week, getting close to 70 degrees. So this cold air really isn't settling in for the long haul. We're just going to warm right back up. That's what I like to hear. Yeah, I know a like lot it. of skiers and snowboarders are not happy. Yeah, no, they're not. No, they're going to Colorado. But and we're staying dry. Yeah, give me a couple good. more weeks, though. No. Yeah. Thank you, Chris. Six